so now we can make grouping for the columns so we will go modify auto group column then ok so now columns have been grouped according to the size and still design for the columns so in this from here we can go for detailed drawing we can get bill of quantities we can get uh, summary design summary this one this is the design summary we can print print this member forces failure diagnostic design summary and design calculation is here bill of quantity i am going for detailed drawing or column I will go for base to plain green or JF group. Okay. Now this is the schedule. For the columns. This we can save it as DXF format and that can that can be opened in AutoCAD. So now i'm closing this we can get text schedule also this is the text schedule okay so now this i will save this one and from here we can go for footing design here see footing design so create a footing design file It will open in another file rcdc file so here you see that after designing the column i have changed the c9 column 20 by 70 centimeter that also have been imported to this new file so after finishing the column design we have to create a footing design file from that column design file which has been used for column design if we import the analysis result from etabs for footing design then we will have we will not have the uh, actual designed column section or column size in that file so in this way we can export the analysis result for rcdc and then we can design column then from that rcdc file we can create footing design file now i will save this one as trial footing okay now settings soil bearing capacity i will use 150 kilonewton per square meter and concrete degrade i will use c25 steel grade that's okay and other you can change also here i am not changing foundation depth i will use 2 meter there no water table okay now okay so and here are the reinforcement settings this is the minimum reinforcement area you can enforce according to the design code here the river diameter i will use 14 16 20 so that will be enough for any steel 14 minimum or 12 we can use minimum top is steel if there is required here 
we will not required for pad footing or single footing for near footing it will be required in the top side face reinforcement share is still 10 and up maximum i am keeping 20 so and here are the some rounding of option this okay these are not selected here so that's why it is showing warning okay and this 12 and this 12 okay done now here are the rounding option also for plan dimension setting for footing i will choose 100 rounding and for depth i will choose 50 okay minimum minimum depth 300 okay then okay now we will go for design this for design factored for sizing from analysis we will use unfactored load okay now this is the design we have found from rcdc and this is the details we can save the layout from here as dxf file that can be imported into the autocad file and after finishing the design if there is any similar size and section footing section and column section we can make grouping from this option so here are the not uh, here it is showing that there all the footings are different in different shape and section so here grouping is not coming and now manually you can choose the footing name and section to make simil make into similar group so that one i am not doing okay from here this is the footing layout plan and here you can get the detailed drawing for all the footings i am choosing two footing for example detailed drawing plan and here we can get the section l b and now we will go for ok So here are the section and this is the plan this one we can save in dxf file and we can open it in autocad file so in this way we can design and get drawings from rcdc using the analysis result of etabs so thanks for watching and subscribe my channel stay tuned for next tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update